So, since the Corrin video dropped, there has sadly not been any new developments on the Hollow Earth project. All that we knew at the time that video dropped is all we know now. That, however, is not going to stop me from continuing to make these character spotlight videos. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the first Toho character I will be covering in this series. I remember playing Toho Spell Bubble on my Switch back in 2022, and that is the game that introduced me to most of the Toho characters that I know about. My favorite character in the Toho series is a character that when I first saw her, reminded me of fusion of between Numa and Palutena. This character will be the one we discuss today, Sanai Kochia from Toho 10, Mountain of Faith. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. I did make a video on Sanai being in Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros server, which I will be putting that series on the back burner for now, now that I will be mainly focusing on Hollow Earth since that is actually a confirmed project. I'm going to be saying most of the same stuff I said in that video since not much new stuff has come out for her character since then. Sanai Kochia is the stage 5 boss character in Toho 10, Mountain of Faith. Many Fuamoko fans will recognize her as she is a popular character in their community, given that when the Abyss Guard twins played her game, a lot of their viewers mistook her for Fauna and it became quite a popular clip on several channels. Canonically, however, Sanai is the maiden of Moria Shrine and is the antithesis of Reimu, Reimu being the embodiment of purity and Sanai being the embodiment of impurity. As such, her fighting style in the Toho series heavily resembles Serpent Breathing from the Demon Slayer anime series. The idea behind this being that in several cultures and religions, snakes are a sign of sin and impure thoughts. In the original Toho 10 game, Reimu picks a fight with Sanai because why wouldn't she, and Sanai ends up losing because it's Reimu, what do you even expect at this point? Um, in Toho 10, you will actually get different dialogues after defeating Sanae based on whether you are playing as Reimu or Marissa. Despite being defeated in her original game, she has made numerous appearances in other Toho games. She is what I would consider to be on the second tier of flagship Toho characters. She isn't one of the Reimus or Marissas or Remilias of the series, but she is quite popular and recognized by the community, and she has appeared in many Toho spin-offs, which is better than some Toho characters that appear in one game and then everyone just kind of forgets about them. In Toho's Spell Bubble, her boss theme is actually remixed and given lyrics by a famous J-pop singer. On top of this, Sanai is canonically a retro gamer, with her famous tagline being, The PlayStation 2 is still new. Right? <laughs> um, given that my first experience with the Toho series was Toho Spell Bubble, I think the reason Sanai is my favorite is because her design was translated the best into Spell Bubble's art style. There are some art style inconsistencies in Spell Bubble as many character sprites were clearly drawn by various artists. However, of all the character sprites in Spell Bubble, Sanai's looks by far the best, which also helps because she very heavily resembles Numa and Palutena, which were two characters I liked a ton before I even knew Sanai existed. As for how likely it is for Holo Earth to get a collab going with the Toho series so people can play as Toho characters in Holo Earth, um, Team Shanghai Alice is the owner of Toho being a one-man team comprised solely of a man named Junya Ota, also known as Zunsoft. He has actually been on interviews encouraging Toho fans to make things such as fan games and remixes of the series, even commenting on some of Game Metal's Toho remixes. That is the reason I think Reimu and Super Smash Bros. could be very easy, because Junya Ota is a very approachable man in the gaming industry. Because of this, on top of how many Holo fans like Toho, I would say it would be a wise decision to let people play as Toho characters in Holo Earth and Cover Corp is a company known for making wise decisions. So, there you go. Sanae in Holo Earth, let's get it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Look forward to more Holo Earth character spotlight videos in the future. And as always, stay chill everyone.